All right, well, maybe you heard about this story. He, an eight-year-old boy found $20 in the parking lot of a restaurant in Toledo, Ohio, and when he saw a soldier having lunch with his family inside, he gave it to him as a thank you for his service. Please welcome Miles Eckert. Hi, Miles. I love what you're wearing. I love your outfit. I love your boots. I love your tie. Love what you're wearing. OK. <laughs> Listen, um, you're here because you did something really, really sweet. You found $20, and of course, $20, you could do stuff with that, right? Did you think to yourself, hey, I'm going to buy, like what? What did you think you could buy? Uh, the Lego movie video game. The Lego movie video game. <laughs> Instead, you saw a man sitting inside the restaurant who is in, in uh, the Air Force, right? Mm -hmm. And you wrote a note and wrapped up the $20, and... Can I read people what you wrote in this note? Yes. Dear soldier, my dad was a soldier. He's in heaven now. I found this $20 in the parking lot when we got here. We would like to pay it forward in my family. It's your lucky day. Thank you for your service. And gave it to him. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing. How old are you, eight? Yes, that's I'm really... going to be nine in a few weeks. Nine in a few weeks. Um, it's, it's really something to do that. And uh, you say your dad is in heaven now. He was a soldier. I bet your dad is very proud of you. I bet your dad thinks you're an amazing guy. <laughs> the soldier that you gave the money to is here today. I'd like him to come out right now. Frank Daly, come on out. So look at this. So, so obviously you didn't know each other. He just no. came up to you. You're Colonel Frank Daly, and how long have you been in? It's the Air Force, am it's, I right? It's the Air Force, uh, Air National Guard now. Uh huh. Yes. How long? Uh, next month it'll be 27 years. 27 years. <laughs> so, so he first walks up to you, and uh, obviously you didn't know why he was walking up to you. And when you read that note, what did you think? I was blown over when I read that note. Uh, obviously, uh, you could see the reaction from the audience, uh, just uh, heart-tugging. Yeah. You know, li listen, I don't know if it's me or military ingrained in me, but my emotional pendulum just doesn't swing back and forth very wildly. Well, it did that day. Yeah. And uh, listen, it took a, a, just a couple uh, attempts to just to get through the note, and, and I had to stop to uh, gain my composure. And my wife, Lisa, uh, you know, she's doing one of these, and, uh, you know, and playing with our grandson. So, uh, you know, it looks like, uh, you know, she's not crying. And, yeah. And, uh, oh. Amazing. I mean, it really, really is amazing. And uh, I know it's uh, Tiffany, right? Uh, Miles' mom is in the audience. Hi, Tiffany. Um, I mean, really, what an amazing young man he is that he I'm thought so to do that. You have to be so proud of him. I am. I'm so proud. And, and so, uh, well, first of all, what did you do with the $20? Well, I, I took the original $20 bill, and I made copies, several copies, actually, of the note itself. So I took one of the copies. I gave it to a local charity, but, but on the piece of paper, I wrote a further explanation of what it was about, and, and uh, I was uh, uh, taking uh, Miles' inspiration. We're paying it forward. So here is the $20, uh, and, and thank you for putting it back out into the community anonymously. I don't know if it's so anonymous Not anymore. Not anymore. But, no. but so, so you paid it forward, you paid it forward, and now, Tiffany, you're starting a, uh, explain, it's a Snowball Express, right? Yeah, Snowball Express is a program for other Gold Star children like Miles and my daughter Marley. <laughs> it's uh, one time a year. These kids all come together from all over the country, and we usually meet in Texas. They give them five days of fun. They load them up on sugar. They get to hang out with their friends that are just like them, all all killed in action, all service-related deaths. So in an attempt to organize this organic mass chaos that has transpired as a result of Miles just being Miles, we're trying to hit a goal of raising $10,000 for our other friends, um, taking this pay it forward to pay it forward back to our friends. And I'm just, Miles, I'm so proud of you. I always tell the kids, kindness always wins, and you get better, not bitter. 
And this just shows that you're listening. I love you. So, first of all, I want to give you a gift because kindness does pay off. And, and sometimes it doesn't pay off right away, but it really always comes back to you. So here is your Lego movie game. So oh. that is your first <laughs> present. And then... Whenever you want to come back in, uh, to California, you're going to go to Legoland and have all the fun you want to have. All right? And Tiffany, we know how important it is to help Snowball Express, so our partners at Shutterfly, who love helping people share their stories through photos, are giving uh, Snowball Express a check for $20,000. Lieutenant Colonel Frank Daly, and we were talking during the break and how important this is to share the story because hopefully it inspires some other kid or, or anyone to pay it forward and to do things like this. Because it really, it, 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 you can see what happens by one person doing a kind gesture. So uh, we, you probably have not been able to go on a vacation for a while from what I've heard with your wife, so we want to do something for you. And uh, Expedia.com is paying it forward to you by giving you a six-night trip to Hawaii. You're going to stay in a four-star hotel. You're going to relax on the beach in Honolulu, Oahu. I want to thank George Lopez, Luke Bryant, Jesse Metcalf. I'll see you tomorrow. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye.